Kim Kardashian and Pete Davidson are going their separate ways. Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski are dating. A source close to Emily reveals to E! News that the comedian and supermodel have been casually seeing each other. Pete Davidson and Taste We Wonders are proving that they're not just friends. So they went out to Baba's Pierogies in Brooklyn. They were sitting there waiting for their to-go order. He has her arm around him, cuddling him, looking at his phone, and I think what's telltale is like that she's playing with his ear. There are some out there who wonder if Pete Davidson might be one of the luckiest men alive. Why? Because he has a knack for hooking up with some of the most beautiful or popular celebrities in the world currently. When you look at Pete Davidson, he's not exactly a hunk model or actor. He's, well, he's Pete Davidson. But despite that, he keeps getting models, socialites, and singers to date him with regular frequency. And it truly boggles the mind of those who try and figure out how this happened. Yet sadly for him, all of these relationships end the same way, including his latest one. We'll break it down for you. But before we do that, go ahead and do us a favor by leaving a like on the video, subscribing to the channel, and hitting the bell icon so you never miss an upload from us. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. Do you want to win an iPhone 12? Maybe a MacBook Pro? How about $500 cash? All you have to do is comment the secret hidden message somewhere in this video. That's it. Oh, and leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel so we can keep affording these giveaways. Winner will be announced at the last day of each month. Thanks for watching and good luck. The new girlfriend. The source says Pete and Emily have known each other for years and have hung out in New York City several times. They reconnected recently after Pete texted Emily wanting to get together to catch up. So let's start with the obvious question. Who is Pete Davidson with now that their relationship is over? That would be Emily Ratajkowski. And according to sources in November, Emily Ratajkowski was definitely into Pete Davidson amid ongoing romance rumors that were going on at the time. They were spotted having a romantic dinner together, the insider added. They met up through mutual friends since they travel in the same circles in New York. They have gone on a few dates now and Emily thinks Pete is a lot of fun to hang out with. So at least it wasn't a random occurrence, but rather a meeting of friends that led to this. It's actually not too far from what happened with Pete's other two ladies that he's become synonymous with. When Emily's budding romance with the former SNL star had gotten out following their dinner date, the My Body author noted she was hoping they could fly under the radar for a bit. The insider adds Emily thinks Pete is charming and they have flirtatious chemistry right now. E! News has reached out to Rubs for the two but did not immediately hear back. Let's think about that. Nope, that didn't happen. Sorry, but celebrity gossip and potential couples is a goldmine for fans and tabloids alike. So even if there was just a hint that they were going to be together, people were going to talk about it a lot, especially given Pete's recent past with Kim Kardashian and how things started and ended there. Emily appeared to be looking for love following her split from estranged husband, Sebastian Bear McLeod. News of the couple's chemistry comes amid lots of speculation about their love lives. Radikowski was recently linked to Brad Pitt. The Gone Girl star filed for divorce from the actor on September 8th after four years of marriage, per online court records obtained by Life & Style. She's yet to reveal the reason behind their split. However, the Uncut Gems producer allegedly cheated on her multiple times, a source told In Touch in August. The Inamorata founder has yet to publicly acknowledge the cheating rumors, but appeared to like some Twitter posts alluding to his alleged infidelity. On October 20th, Emily broke her silence on their breakup in an interview with Harper's Bazaar. I feel all the emotions, the businesswoman said. I feel anger, sadness, I feel excitement, I feel joy, I feel levity. Every day is different. The actress who welcomed Sun Sylvester with her ex in March 2021 added, The only good thing I know is that I'm feeling all those things, which is nice because it makes me believe that I'll be okay. Life and Style first reported on the couple split in July. Weeks later, a source told In Touch that the I Feel Pretty star was looking to find a good man and someone who won't disrespect her after her four-year marriage. Emily isn't going to have any problem moving on with her life from Sebastian. The source added, she's completely over him. Pete, for his part, famously started dating Kim Kardashian after they met on the set of Saturday Night Live in October 2021. They were together for nearly nine months until they amicably split this past August. And that caused a lot of people to talk because they seemed so in love and yet they split. So what we have here are two people fresh off of breakups who have somehow ended up with one another. As we've made clear already, how Pete Davidson get these women is a mystery that many are still trying to solve. We will say that he has a habit of meeting women when they are low from a previous relationship. But that's not a bad thing per se. It shows that he's what they need after their previous partners failed them or they split from them. 
Sometimes it's good to have someone different, and Pete Davidson is definitely different. Yet despite his differences from other men, the relationships always end the same. The one with Emily was sadly no different. They're done. Pete Davidson and Emily Ratajkowski are already over. Page six, page six has learned. And while a source tells E! News that the two met up a few times, we also heard, quote, they were never exclusive or even really dating. Davidson and the model turned author were first linked in November, so their relationship didn't even last two full months. Davidson was recently spotted several times with his Bodies, Bodies, Bodies co-star Chase Suey Wonders, while Ratajkowski was snapped with artist Jack Greer. Now we're hearing they've gone their separate ways. Their fling has moved into the friend zone, a source told Page Six, adding that that's fine with both of them. Last week, Davidson was spotted three times with Wonders. They were seen outside his apartment, shopping together at a Whole Foods in Brooklyn, and at a Rangers game. Apparently, Madison Square Garden is a favorite date spot for the Saturday Night Live star. Meanwhile, Ratajkowski has also been enjoying her time on the dating scene. The My Body author was seen on a date last week, smooching with Greer. In November, she was photographed out with DJ Orazio Rispo. The pair had been photographed kissing in New York City in October. She also just announced last Last week with her high low podcast that she joined a dating app the 31 year old explained to her listeners i was feeling defiant because so many people told me not to get it so the term fling might not be the best way to define what has gone on with the two they had something and now it's done and they've moved on to other people Another way to define the relationship was that they were rebounding off what they had just gone through, and as a result, they went to someone who understood them, and then were willing to stay friends while they looked for something else. But this still doesn't stop the pattern that Pete Davidson has been dating a lot of famous people, despite being, well, Pete Davidson. But there might be an answer to the mystery. Energy if you recall, one of the previous relationships that Pete Davidson had on the celebrity side was with Ariana Grande, and she revealed in a music video for her song Thank You Next what she felt about Pete Davidson, both in the touching way and in the inappropriate way, and a friend of Davidson's backed that up. You see, Jay Farrow told all about Pete Davidson's dating history. The comedian said he asked Davidson how he dates so many famous women, and the answer was NSFW. Farrow found out it's his endowment. Farrow shared the details on Sirius XM's The Jess Cagle Show. He confirmed it. He was like, yeah, bro, it's like nine inches. I was like, what? Word. Oh, snap, we're twins. That's crazy. Farrow joked. The Virginia native says there's something in the sauce when it comes to his fellow Saturday Night Live alum. As for Pete, his whirlwind romance with Kim Kardashian ended back in August. An insider exclusively shared with E! News at the time that the pair have, quote, a lot of love and respect for each other, but their demanding schedules made it really difficult to maintain a relationship. P. Davidson, that's my guy. I love him. Hey, I'm proud of him. I look forward to hearing the report that he smashed Oprah Winfrey and Bill Gates' ex-wife because she's still a billionaire, Farrow joked. And whoever else is a billionaire out here is on Pete Davidson's hit list. If the queen was still alive, he would have slept with her. Davidson has previously poked fun at all the buzz surrounding his manhood. But Pharaoh says it isn't the only thing that makes the meet cute star so popular with women. I think Pete is just a sweet dude. He's sweet. He's vulnerable, he added. Now that is something we can confirm and elaborate on, because despite his dumb guy persona that he has, he's also a guy who knows how to listen to his partners and make them feel special. When he was with Kim and Ariana, they were both reeling from bad breakups. He swooped in, made them feel great, and that was hard to let go of. That brings us back to Emily, who just had a messy breakup herself. So to find someone like Davidson who is very selfless when it comes to relationships, which can be proven, must have been so refreshing for her. But the question that many will now ask is, will Pete ever find the one for him? We don't know, and we can't say if it will happen. But if nothing else, he has no problem finding famous and beautiful women that would love to be with him for one reason or another. And there you have it, everyone. A look at the situation with Pete Davidson and how his latest relationship has gone away. Are you saddened by this development in Davidson's life? Do you feel that he's destined to not get a love of his life for himself? Or do you think he's going to blow everyone's minds once again when he does find Miss Perfect? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Be sure to subscribe, and we'll see you next time on the channel.